Hello everyone, I'm super excited because now we can listen to all the STLOL 2024 songs. It has been released, all the video clips, and we can listen to it all. It means it's the national final for Eurovision 2024 representing Estonia. So I'm going to listen to all the songs, all the complete songs, the three minutes of each one. But I'm going to record only a small part of it because if not, I would get a video of one hour or so. And I think this could be very boring for it, for we all. So let's go for it. Let's start with alphabetical order and let's see what do I think about this. Let's go. Okay, I'm here listening to Brother Apollo, Bad Boy, but I must tell you that this is not my cup of tea. I think we have seen better rock songs in Eurovision. This one is a little bit repetitive and I'm, I'm not enjoying very, very much. So I suppose this is not going to be high in my top list of STLOL 2024. This is Carlos Zucareda, Never Growing Up, and I must tell you that this is something totally different. I enjoy it better and... This could create a beautiful paper in Eurovision. I think he has a very nice voice. I hope he would sing like this live. And yeah, it has some emotion. It has some fresh air. Of course, it's, it's nothing new. He's not reinventing anything, but I think this is something good and could be deservable for Estonia to send this to Eurovision. So well done, Carlos. I actually like it and I hope it's going to be high in my top. Wow, I've been listening to the whole song and I must tell you that this is absolutely brilliant. This is like a high quality song and I feel his voice is going to stand out live. He has a beautiful color in her throat and I like his appearance. He's very unique in everything. Those instrumentals are appearing in the song and I think this is very, 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 very beautiful. I love this song so much. And I think this could make something brilliant in Eurovision. Let's see the other songs I mean, but so far this is excellent. And I like him, I like the song, and I like the intention of this. It's creating a beautiful, excellent atmosphere. And oh my god, this is very high quality, so... Well done, well done. I think this is, one, is going to be one of my favorites for this year. I'm listening to this song. I won't tell this name of the artist and the song because it's in Estonian and I have it impossible to say. But this is beautiful. I don't understand the lyrics and maybe this is why I'm not getting this emotion. I see a lot of landscapes and I see the artist who is absolutely beautiful. But I think live this is going to be way better with lightning, lighting and everything. It's going to be more epic like, than this. However, the song is like in the mid table in my case so far. I think it's nice, but I don't think I'll fall in love with this. Anyway, well done. I've realized listening to this song that there are a lot of emotional entries this year in STLOL, and I think this one is nice. I quite like it, but I don't get a lot of emotion. It's like a little bit... Uh, forced to feel that and they look great they have a nice voice it looks like that let's see live but the topic of the song is nice like uh, celebrating that love that create families and everything but yeah I don't feel very much connected with this maybe life it's going to get better but I don't know let's listen to the next songs Okay, another impossible name for Estonia. This is definitely a joke entry. I won't, I won't let you tell me, no, this is not a joke, this is just a funny entry. No, this is definitely a, a joke entry. This impossible name in Estonia means something like narcoticumides. Narco is something related to drug dealing or anything like this. Uh, do I like it? Yeah, I like this rhythm. This is contagious. And however, I'm, I'm a little bit against joke entries. So um, it's nice, but I would like to listen to other songs. <laughs> okay, this song sung by Annette Weikma looks like a little bit old. It's like a 2000 song, you know, like from many years ago. <laughs> but in the beginning, I was thinking incorrectly about this. I said, oh, it's old fashioned and all these things. But actually, I enjoy the rhythm. I think it sounds very entertaining and I think it's beautiful. So 
yeah, I actually like it. I won't tell you this is going to win Eurovision because not at all. But I think many people could have fun with this. So nice, nice, nice. Well done, I actually enjoy it, yeah. I like her, I like her appearance and... Yes, I have a positive review about her. Okay, and soup with Vetemine is like very authentic, very Estonian, very indigenous, could I say that? I don't know. Do I like it? Actually, not. I, would, I wouldn't listen to this in my playlist. However, I think it, bring, it brings something different, it brings quality, it actually represents Estonia, I suppose so, because I don't know the origins of Estonia, but um, I don't know, the song is repetitive and why would I uh, say something that I, I, I'm actually not uh, feeling about this song? No, I don't like, I think it's repetitive. Mm. And I feel actually nothing. It's like the Estonian Tanshugeras. And yeah, no, no, I don't like it. Okay, this song, mm, I don't get it. <laughs> Literally, I don't get it because it's uh, weird. I suppose in this part where there's no lyric, nobody singing, just doing something with this. Uh, maybe they have to introduce something live on stage that could be very appealing or very different, di differential. But so far, just listening to the song, I don't get it. And I think it shouldn't re represent Estonia, actually. Oh my God, I love this so much. Finally, I find something a bit in Estilol and she's amazing. This is an a huge hit. I like that this is like an electro beat, but not electronic because I'm so fed up of electronic in Eurovision because they finally don't get a high place. And I think that she is doing something brutal. This is very uh, original, terrific and yeah. I, I, I'm falling in love with her as well, her appearance and everything. And yeah, this is mainstream. This is, yes, I think. So far, this is one of the best things I have seen in Steel All and in all the Eurovision 2024 season in these few national finals we have so far. I think this could be excellent in Eurovision if the staging is also good. And yeah, it has a lot of possibilities. So I support. Cecilia so much. Well done. As far as I am concerned, this is all the time alongside all the three minutes the same. So I don't like this proposal very much. This is not differentiating anything. There is this not, there is not an instructor here. And I think this is very bad, especially for Eurovision. So uh, I don't get this song. I think this is the worst one maybe of the ones I've listened so far, and uh, no. I mean, we're not in a Coldplay concert where you just feel the music and, and love the life, you know? It's just about giving a show for three minutes and I think this won't give anything for sure. So no, I don't like it very much. I'm so sorry for people who like it, but not my case, definitely. I'm sorry. When I was watching and listening the first seconds of this song, I was ex expecting something way better because she has an amazing style and I think that um, it could have gone to a better place, but finally there's, you know, like a line and there aren't highs or lows, so I like, as I told you, the style, I like everything about her, but oh my god, it should have been better, I don't know, I don't feel very related to this song and oh that's a shame because it was promising it was promising but no not at all i think this is this shouldn't represent estonia in my opinion okay this is interesting i would say it like this um it's not bad it's not bad i actually quite like it. Uh, I don't know, I'm not falling in love. This is like a ballad who is trying to be very, very big, bigger than it actually is. So it's nice. I hope that he can have that voice live so that he can create a beautiful and powerful staging. But I don't know, I have my doubts. Maybe I'm not a big fan of this kind of ballads with some rhythm or 
I don't know, I don't know. This is not bad at all, but I think I would prefer more songs for this estilo. Oh my god, we all remember Laura, you know, she was lost in Verona and she didn't quite fall for the grand final in Eurovision. But I will tell you that I actually like this song. I connect with her with this ballad because it looks like it represents a whole generation of young mothers, <laughs> something like this. And I actually like it. I think this is quite powerful. This is cute. And if she sings live like this, maybe she can connect with the juries as well as Estonia did last year. Um, I like, of course, this is nothing new, but it's okay. It's okay. I like, I like, yeah. I just feel this music. So well done, Laura. I hope we can see her again in Eurovision to go to the grand final. Why not? I will tell you that I like Oli. I think this is a rock song that actually has my attention. I think it can do something okay in Eurovision. It can catch some people's attention. And especially the beginning of the song with that piano sounded very good with that rough or rock voice. It's a pity because all the song could have stayed like this and in my opinion would have been perfect. But they have decided to introduce those guitars and those rock issues that are okay. I don't fall in love with this because this is not my type of music. But I would recognize this is good. This is a nice song and I have to celebrate how they are doing with this song. So yeah, nice. Okay. I think this song is very interesting. Peter is doing something that reminds me a lot of The Weeknd with Blinding Lights. It's like very the same style, but I think this is okay. I like this kind of music that you can dance to it and it's like with 80s influences. Uh, it's a shame we don't see him in a video clip interacting with the song, but I have my confidence my conf I don't know in English, in him because maybe this is going to be something that we can enjoy live on stage. So yes, I like the song and I think it has a very high perspective. I will tell you, I like this. This is like very experimental and yeah, interesting to see and listen to. Uh, maybe this is not catchy, this is not danceable, this is not emotional, and this is the worst point of this song, but I must tell you that, yeah, I like it, and I think, well, now it is getting better, as I can listen to. Yeah, uh, I like it. I like him. He has a beautiful appearance. He's like an interesting artist, and yeah, of all the, th of all the songs I have seen for this still all, I think this is one of the most um, original or interesting ones, yeah. Yeah, not bad. I don't know in Eurovision actually how this could um, catch people's attention, but yeah, here in a video clip I like. I think the most amazing part of this song is her. I think she must have a very, a very, very high talent. But the, but the song is a little bit messy, right? It's like, uh, I don't get that rhythm, that beat, which is like, breaking da, na, na. no no i don't like very much it's like i don't feel connected with this mm, it's fun but in a eurovision stage in a eurovision uh, scene i think this could get a little bit yeah messy so no 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 i think this is not going to be high in my top anyway i like her and i wish her the best of course Okay, it has improved a lot, the level of this STLOL. This is amazing, this is in Estonian, and I'm falling in love with this. This is a beat, it gives me that attitude, that happiness, that... Oh my god, that energy I need for a Eurovision song, so... I'm happy, it, it also has it funny element, and yeah, it has a lot of personality, maybe. This could be the best option for Estonia this year because definitely this is going to stand out a lot and people will be very uplifted while listening and watching to this. So this is amazing and I feel so happy for discovering this song because I'm sure this is going to be a 
and a missing part of my playlist. So, wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Maybe this, this should go to Eurovision this year. Amazing, amazing. I'm amazed about how beautiful, how beautiful eyes she has. And the song is actually nice. I think it's okay for the level of this SC LOL. And I actually enjoy. Yeah, I think it would be nice, okay for Eurovision, but of course, this is not going to stand out as much as other songs that I have listened to today. Uh, but yes, this song is nice it's okay maybe estonia could do something interesting with this not winning but but yeah she's okay it's like a little bit average but but in my inside i feel good with this song so well done as well jona wow it has been all for today we have seen there's a lot of diversity in this estilo 2024 and now i'll let you over here my top of these songs for estilo I'm not afraid.